Well, hello everyone, uh, especially uh, our fans and those who are following our uh, page, uh, brand new page on Facebook, Live Without Limits. Um, Alejandro Tornado here coming from Beaufort, Georgia. And guess what? I have uh, this beautiful lady, Makisha Whetstone, joining us once again for... And l let, me, let me just tell you one thing, just for all of you who do not know, because we did our official launch of this page, Live Without Limits, a couple of days ago. But um, what we decided to do with Makisha is that every... Thursday at uh, between 6 and 7 p.m. Eastern Time, we are going to be connecting with uh, all of you, all our followers, because we want to keep you engaged. We want to keep you vibrant. We want to keep the energy of this page as high as we possibly can. So every Thursday, we are going to be um, doing a Facebook Live, and we are going to be adding value to every single person. So invite other people to uh, the party, you know, the more the merrier, and we want to um, influence and make an impact on your life every single week. So is that is that the plan, Makisha? That is the plan, Alejandro, and I am so thankful and grateful for everyone who has joined in. They started liking our page, and Alejandro and I are so excited about it, and we're so excited about Live Without Limits because we know it is so important for professional as well as personal growth. So we are delighted to come to you each Thursday somewhere between 6 and 7 p.m. to share some valuable content with you because we want to add value to your life. So why should, should you tune in? One, because you have two of the greatest coaches ever, Alejandro and myself. And then number <laughs> two, yes, Alejandro. And secondly, we're going to add value and we will give you information that you can, can start utilizing immediately. And as Alejandro stated, please invite others to join us. Let them know we're live. Let them know when we will be on because we want everyone to be a part of our live video. And we're going to always talk about new and exciting things that are coming up because we're working on some exciting things for you all to help you grow and to help you develop so you can achieve your goals in 2020. Alejandro, you think they're ready to hear some great content this evening? Um, I Well, I, I know that they're ready because I am excited and I'm ready to... Uh, uh, go over uh, the content that we want to share with them tonight. And uh, let me just remind all of you that if you don't know who um, John Maxwell is, I mean, John Maxwell is one of our mentors um, and um, he is, uh, of course, um, the, the, the main, together with other faculty members, but he's the principal uh, man of the John Maxwell team and Makisha and myself, I mean, we are certified as speaker, uh, speakers, coaches and trainers through the John Maxwell team. And if you don't know, John Maxwell throughout his career that spans almost 50 years or 50 plus years, um, uh, he's written many books, I mean, over a hundred books in the areas of personal growth, uh, development, intentional living, and of course, I mean, he is the expert, the global expert on leadership. Um, and one of the books that he wrote uh, is titled The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. That's a personal growth book. And of the 15 laws, of course, 
don't don't worry we are not going to go through the 15 laws i mean no um but uh with mckeesher i mean we decided that we wanted to share a little bit about the first law and the first law in that book is the law of intentionality um, and the law of intentionality very succinctly states that growth personal growth in your life doesn't just happen automatically so uh, if if it doesn't happen automatically then mckeesher uh, how does one actually grow in your life journey? Yeah, it's one of, one of the things we teach a lot of coach, coaches and trainers. And it's something I've talked about several times on my Facebook Live and Periscope and other social media outlets. We have to be absolutely intentional. And as a coach, when I'm working with a client, we come up with an action plan and we have doable, realistic goals set so we can be very intentional on how we're going to get there because we're not going to just simply change and grow just because our mind is saying, oh, well, I want to grow in this area. Well, Makisha isn't going to grow in that area just by having a thought. Makisha has to be very intentional about her actions. She has to make sure she is doing the work that, that is required. You have to put the work in. It's kind of like someone who has a learning gap in, um, in a particular area. And then they say, okay, well, I want to master this. Okay, well, how are you going to master it? You have to do the work, whether that's taking classes, whether that's reading, whether it's watching videos whether it's learning from an apprentice or a mentor. You have to invest in your, yourself so you can uh, diminish that knowledge gap that you, you have there. So that's why it is so important to be intentional because greatness doesn't just happen. We have to make it happen. Achieving our goals aren't going to just happen, Alejandro. We have to do the, the work that is required, and we have to make sure we are being consistent in taking the steps that are necessary for us to achieve those goals. So making sure we're being intentional is essential. That's, yeah, I mean, well said. I, th I think that that is critical. and And I think that... Uh, some people, um, at least, I mean, some people that I've talked to, and I talk to many people, um, they they get into the the thinking modality of uh, good intentions. I mean, everybody. It seems that everybody has good intentions, and I'm sure that you, Makisha, you have good intentions. I have good intentions, but but the key to good intentions is this. Are you going to achieve anything in your life just by having good intentions? You, you, you know what I heard one, one, one time, and, um, and I don't want to be too dark in here, but um, I heard the best place to go to actually see good intentions that never saw the, the light of day is, is to go to the cemetery is yep. to just go to the cemetery, and in the cemetery, you are going to see um, uh, uh, businesses that never happened. You're right. going to see books that were never written. You're going to see um, uh, 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 projects that were never completed. But everybody had good intentions to yeah. take that to the end. So I right. think that we need to change the paradigm from good intentions to what John talks uh, in that law, which is go from good intentions to intentionality. What what do you I mean? What do you think? Do you think that when when we make that uh, shift in our mindset, um, is that going to cause? Um, um, a better man in our life? I mean, is that going to cause that we are going to start 
um, really being much more mindful and intentional about not just starting or thinking about doing something, but actually doing it. Yeah, it reminds me of a book, and actually, Alejandro, you and I have read this book, and we're going to do a book review on it, The Many Habits, because The Many Habits talk about starting one thing mm -hmm. each day, just yeah. trying one, one thing and just doing one sequence of it, or one, let's say, one push-up or one sit-up. So in this case, let's say, for example, you may decide each day I am going to be intentional about making sure... I have my day planned. So that way you know every single day, your day is planned out. It's not just going to be haphazardly um, done. You have it planned, you know what you're doing each time of the day, because if you don't plan your day out, your day will just be whatever comes up and it will, it will be with directions. No one ever achieves goals and they cannot live an intentional life if they do not have a plan in place and you have to be intentional about that every single day. So start there, start with the one thing, whatever that is for you, that is where you should start. So make sure when you're planning your goals and planning to achieve your destiny, make sure you are being intentional about your thoughts because your thoughts will become your actions and your actions will become your habits. So you want to make sure your thoughts are where they need to be and you want to make sure your actions demonstrate what you're saying you want to achieve. And if you start trying something every day and you build on it more and more and you add one more thing to that, you will then realize you have a brand new habit of intentionality to actually help you achieve those goals. Because as John stated it in the book, it's not going to just happen. It's not going to happen for any of us. No single person whom we admire or have any level of success has done it by just allowing life to happen. They had to be focused. They had to have clarity. They had to be consistent. They had to be intentional every day about being who they wanted to be, doing the work to become whom they said they were going to become. Excellent. And um, I just saw uh, Vanessa. Vanessa was uh, joining and she is um, in, she hello, is Vanessa. in the room. So, uh, Vanessa, hello. Thank you very much. I mean, for joining us. It's great to have you with us. But, um, uh, Makisha, yes, that is, um, definitely, um, great what, what you just said. And I think that one of, um, uh, the, I, I have it on my wall as a matter of fact. I mean, and it's a, it's a quote or, or, or a statement by Tony Robbins. And, 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 and he says, the path to success is to take massive determined action. You know, it's, it's massive action, but it's determined action. It's, it's, it's uh, inherent in that is the concept of intentionality. We have to be determined. We have to be intentional. Nothing happens with just having intentions. You know, it's like it's like one of my uh, one, one one of my mentors. Also, I mean, Paul Martinelli would say, um, "Yes, you can you can have a thought in you in your mind, but if you don't put um, action." To it, and you begin doing something every day to yeah. move you towards that goal, then the thought in itself is not going to be of any value to yeah. you. No, it will not be. No, you're absolutely right. And just like Vanessa said, it doesn't happen by osmosis. It does not. And I like where he in the um in the book and in one of the spots, Alejandro, um, he states it's much better to plan your growth intentionally. You decide where you need or want to grow. You choose what you learn and you follow through with discipline. That's right. That's what we're talking about. You have to have the discipline That's and right. the will to push 
forward and to forge ahead even when you don't feel like it. That's right. Because if you go by how you feel, there are a lot of things we won't get done and we won't accomplish. So we can't go by how we feel. We That's have right. to be willing to be disciplined and make sure we're also running our own race. Because one of the things that happens, I think that stops us from being intentional sometimes in achieving our goals is because we're doing the comparison race. Mm. We're comparing ourselves to where someone else is instead of running our own race at That's our right. pace because as long as you're putting one foot in front of the other every single day you're moving forward you're forging ahead you're working towards your goal so you have to remember to make sure you're not comparing yourself to someone else run at your own pace but you have to be disciplined and you have to determine where it is you really need to focus and put your time to minimize distractions. And so you're putting your time in the places that's going to add value to you achieving your goals. And that's part of being intentional um, as you're working towards, you know, making it happen, so, so to speak. Because whatever it is you set out to do, make it happen. It's not going to just happen. And I made up my mind towards the latter part of last year going into this year. I said, I have to be more intentional about going after the things I want. My business isn't going to just come to me. I have to go after it and I have to change. I have to have new habits. Right. I have to have a focus and I have to be disciplined in the things that I want to see manifest in my life. But that starts with me. And like, like we said, Alejandro, it was up here as a thought, but now it requires me to carry it out in an actionable form on a consistent basis. That's right. And that that is that is the key. The word that you just said and that John Maxwell is so um uh, so 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 good at is the word consistency. And John Maxwell says, you cannot even begin to believe the power of compounding consistency. I mean, it's not. And that's why people who, um, uh, those people who at the beginning of every year, I mean, they make those famous New Year's resolutions. Why is it that... And 95% of those resolutions never end anywhere is because there wasn't the, 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 the thought of consistent action. It was just that everybody does it and I will do it as well. Is, is that comparison, um, uh, com comparison thing that, that everybody gets into it? As opposed yep. to saying, listen, I'm going to run my own race. Mm -hmm. And even if I am not um, a, a, an athlete, and if I'm not, I haven't run a marathon before, I'm going to not compare myself to the person, I mean, who can run a mile, I mean, in, 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 in the whatever, I mean, 12 seconds or whatever. I mean, I don't know, whatever it may be. But I'm just going to run my own race at mm -hmm. my own pace and even if i go yeah. even if i go slow it doesn't matter mm -hmm. as long as no. i run every day and i am consistently doing it if that happens yep. i will achieve something but if it's uh, uh, new year's resolutions and by the end of february it's all over and that's it then it, 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 you're you're just you're just uh, spinning the wheel and never getting anywhere. Oh, I absolutely agree. I totally agree. Um, and one of the other things that I like, Alejandro, um, one of the points that is made in this chapter is the timing gap is not the right time to begin. And that happens a lot where, you know, people will say, well, now isn't the time. The reality is there may never be a perfect time. You just have to start. You start where you are with what you have to move forward. Because if you allow fear to keep you stagnant or if you allow money to keep you where you are or if you allow a lack of knowledge or education 
um, to hold you back. You will never get there. You just start because I'm a firm believer. If something is placed into your spirit and there is something you're passionate about, a way will be made. You just start where you are. You may not be able to start huge, but you can start small and you can start working towards this huge vision you have, but don't just sit back and say, okay, well, I have to wait until the time is right. And I have a, a, a virtual mentor, Nicole Walters. I took one of her courses, 1K One Day, and she always tell us it is better to start than to try and make it perfect and never get started. Yeah. You can make it perfect later, but right now, just start. And that is so important because you get the momentum going once you start. But it is so easy to allow those little voices to tell us the time it is not right. Is not right. It's not the right time. Now, don't misunderstand me. Are there certain times when the timing may be off a little bit and you may have to wait depending upon a certain situation? Yes, there will be times when that occurs. But overall, most of us in that situation. We're using that as an excuse for us to stay stagnant and for us to stay where we are. Because most things in life, there is no perfect time to do it. It is simply the right time when it is poured into your spirit. And when you have that idea, you start working on it. And I tell clients when I'm working with them, the process starts when you have the thought. And it is starting when you do the research. It yeah. doesn't mean you may be taking full action today and you're going full throttle. You're still working towards getting to the finish line when you're doing the research. When you are doing small things such as it may be getting on social media one day a week. Yeah. You may be asking a mentor to help you, you know, work through some things that you need help on. You're still working towards your goal. And I think a lot of times people are believing a lot of things need to be in place because they want to be at the finish line when they're truly just at the starting line. They're actually before the starting line. Yes, right. Because sometimes a lot of work needs to be done behind the scenes that people will never see. Sure. Never ever see. And you have to do that work to lay the foundation so you can make it to the finish line. But no time will ever be perfect. If yeah. I waited to the perfect time, I wouldn't be here with you today. That's right. Yes. And I, I love the comment. I mean, that Vanessa just uh, just just I mean, just wrote. It says if, if something is placed in your heart, then it's then begin taking action on that thing i mean if you had if 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 the desire to do something is within you then yes. you are fully resourced to uh, take it from start to finish all yep. the way now yep. uh, the, the i mean the the timing uh, well, it, it could it could take you it could take you a week it could take you a month it could take you six months or right. a year or longer it doesn't matter but if you have that desire then you can begin uh, implementing it and then moving uh, in in the direction to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve and yes, um, yes but everything anything just hinges on that concept of the law of intentionality just yep. being intentional um, about it well as a matter of fact i mean john maxwell wrote another book is called intentional living so yep. uh, i mean he is i mean he's definitely into uh, not having good intentions but every day living your life intentionally and yep. that and that and that can make uh, definitely will make a difference, a huge difference in your life and in the way that you begin um, acting and doing and living your life every single day. Can you imagine what life would be like if everybody lived by um, intentionality, they lived with intention, the things that just like Vanessa said, in your the things that are in your heart, because typically the things that are placed in your heart are the things that you're meant to do. 
And can yeah. you imagine what the world would be like if everybody did that and did that on a consistent basis? We would have happier people. People would be working in their oh in their lane, in their gifts, in their talents. People would be happier going to work and they would speak highly of what they're doing instead of dreading getting up each day going and they would interact more favorably with family members, friends and everything. So it does make a difference when you are operating from a place of intentionality as well as purpose and knowing what you should be doing. It makes a huge, huge difference. And as you're moving towards that, you can't be afraid to make mistakes because that's another thing. You know, when people are working towards things, they think everything has to be perfect and they don't want to make mistakes. And I remember one day someone said to me, uh, Makisha, I don't get on Facebook and do my Facebook lives too often because I feel like I have to get all made up. I said, honey, I threw that away a long time ago. <laughs> if, <laughs> if something hits me when I'm coming from the gym or I'm about to go to the gym, well, I'm going to get on looking like I'm going to the gym or I just came from the gym. I said, because there are times when we have to stop trying to make everything look perfect and we're not. And That's we just have to be intentional about what we're wanting to do. We have to come from a place of um, purity and be intentional about really wanting to help people because if we're truly coming from that place, it doesn't matter what we look like on the outside because people value what we're saying and then they can see our heart coming through That's right. what we're bringing forth. And you're right, Vanessa, it would be a beautiful world. It would be an absolutely beautiful world. And I'm mm-hmm. that's what we're trying to do, help everyone to see yeah. that they can live an intentional life and it can be an awesome life That's for right. everyone to have. Um, and I hope everyone picks up on that and takes some nuggets away that can actually help them each day live much more intentional, um, you know, in their professional life as well as their personal life. And as a matter of fact, what a great segue. I mean, talking about intentionality and helping people to uh, grow, helping people to uh, further develop themselves. I mean, this is what Makisha and myself, I mean, what we are really passionate about. And it's adding value to people, it's helping people to really uh, become the best versions of themselves and to show up in the world with intentionality and with great power uh, because we all have great power. Do we use that power? Perhaps not all the time, but we have that power available for us to do great things. And having said that, Makisha, I want to um, remind all our listeners, I mean, the ones who are live with us right now or the ones who are going to uh, pick up this uh, on, 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 on a video later on, that if you want to grow yourself, if you want to develop yourself, if you are serious about um, becoming a better person, becoming the best version of yourself, then there is an upcoming uh, workshop on May 2nd, Saturday, May 2nd, here in Norcross, Georgia, and um, is called Live Without Limits. I mean, because we want to uh, teach and we want to share content that will impact people's lives and help them to really take all the limitations out and truly live a life without limits. And um, we're going to be covering a a lot. I mean, this is going to start at 9 a.m., to 1 p.m. So it's going to be very engaging, it's going to be very informative. Um, We are going to, this is not just going to be a one-way conversation. I mean, we want to have feedback because that is what engages people and if 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 you have a question i mean just go and we'll we'll deal with that at the time so um 
If you have not registered for that, uh, you can go to the Live Without Limits page on Facebook and there's going to be a link to that. If not, you can go to eventbrite.com and look for the event Live Without Limits with uh, Makishur Whetstone and myself and you can actually uh, purchase uh, tickets and register there. Um, uh, I encourage you to do that. Um, I know that some people, I mean, they need uh, time to think about it. But remember, um, uh, if, if, if you don't take action uh, right now, um, then um, it, it, may, it may never, it may never happen. So um, if you, if you truly want to grow, if you truly want um, to learn, if you, if you are a learner uh, and, and you are inquisitive and, and you're curious about what can I do perhaps, I mean, to conquer some limiting beliefs that I have or, or some fears that I have or how can I increase my self-confidence? Well, I encourage you, go and register for that workshop because we will have uh, the answers for you and will help you to really live a life without limits. I mean, have I left something out, Makisha? Nope. <laughs> you haven't left anything out. Um, and it will be engaging. It will be fun because when I facilitate workshops, I have breakout sessions. It is interactive. I don't ever have a workshop where you're just listening. That's why it's called a workshop because we do things together. And I believe in having different things, um, fun breakout sessions, things that are thought provoking so we can really cement what it is we are teaching. And so it will really hit home and resonate in our spirits. So that is what we will be doing on Saturday, May 2nd. We have limited seating. So it is important for you to go ahead and get your ticket. And please make sure you invite someone, share this information on your social media sites as well. And maybe you want to give this workshop to someone and you purchase a ticket for them. That would be absolutely awesome as well. We're just excited about it. Um, this will be our first workshop together. So Alejandra and I are, we're just looking forward to it and we're looking forward to you being there. And so we can help you as well as ourselves go to the next level in 2020 before we get too far into this new year of this new decade. So make sure you go to Eventbrite or click on the link in our Live Without Limits um, Facebook page and just go ahead and sign up for our, our workshop. Excellent. Yes. And um, uh, on top of that, I mean, we have uh, other exciting things um, um, in, in the cooking pot uh, right now. I mean, we are just we are just we are in, in the preparation mode um, because we want to really uh, provide you with um, great resources and great content that would take your life to the next level. Um, it's, it's all about living without limits. Most people, they have so many limitations around them. Well, we want to unlock that, uh, that, 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 that lock that keeps you limited and we want to open the cage so there's no limitations and we can live lives without limits. So um, I guess um, the, we, we, have, we have definitely done a, a good, and I hope that uh, the people who will listen to this, I mean, will get um, value out of, uh, out, of the, um, out of the content that we shared. Uh, and um, uh, definitely this is something that we want to do um, every Thursday. We want to connect with you. We want to keep you energized and um, we want to pour as much uh, content as we possibly can because um, we, 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 we love all of you. We respect you all 
N and we want the very, very best for each one of you. So, Makishir, uh, any any closing uh, words? No, nope, I'm just so excited about kicking us off. We launched the other day. We're having our first Facebook Live tonight. And I'm just so excited. And I appreciate Vanessa and others who joined us this evening and those who will see this on the replay. Just interact with us. Engage with us. Let us know if you have questions or if there are certain topics you would like for us to tackle. Sure. We, we don't mind taking on your suggestions and talking about those as well. So we're excited to be with you every single Thursday. And I would love it if we have so many questions and so many topics that our listeners want us to tackle, Alejandro, until we have to be on two or three days a week just to get through all of their topics and their questions. So, yeah. no, nope, that is it. We thank you all for joining us. And please remember to go and register for Live Without Limits Workshop, which will be held on May 2nd, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And you can find all of that information on Eventbrite or on our Facebook page. Well, thank you very much, Makisha. It's been uh, another great pleasure for me, I mean, to share this with you and with all of our listeners. And um, as uh, I'm going to close, as I always do uh, on this page, reminding you to live without limits. Take care and be well.